All right, good to go. The rest of that bridge looks like it could come down any minute. Down, one to go. Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. <clears throat> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Ray? No, that's not how she operates. More of a money-up-front kind of mercenary. The rape's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Just thinking the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searched. Yeah, yeah you're right. Uh, you hey, know, you think that old reading, building's worth mostly. checking out? There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs. Just a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Well, maybe use the car. Just a suggestion. Sully, what were you talking about? Uh, yeah. So, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was just one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Hey, careful, kid. Oh, uh, 
Uh, <laughs> hey, Nathan, you maybe you want to ease up? Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Stay put. What you got? Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like you could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> Well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. So, Pirate walks into a bar. Oh, great. Here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey, man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, ah, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> yeah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. Check it out, boys. What is it? You can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. <laughs> I'll let you look at this. Quite the view. Keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. Oh, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. I mean, especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> 